All right, you ready for this review so we can get to that party? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh wait, I brought fudge. Ooh, looks Doesn't good. Look yummy. Open up. Oh my god. It's kind of nutty. I thought so too. It was in that. It was in a brown paper bag in front of my house from Meatball. Was it on fire? I just figured she was warming it up. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, I'm Colton and this is Frankie Doom and we're here to review Black Christmas. And no, Madea isn't in this movie. Alright, so Black Christmas is about a bunch of sorority girls getting ready to go home on winter break, but there's a big old blizzard and they get these strange phone calls and there's this weird folklore and then they all start dying. It was, it's a remake of uh, like a 70s movie, I think it got remade in 2005. So it stars great film icons like Michelle Trachtenberg <laughs> and Michelle Trachtenberg and the girl. The aunt from the, My Big Factory Wedding with the, the Babopsy. Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. Plot line. What did you feel about the plot of Black Christmas? How was it? <laughs> it was cool. Um, I guess, you know, you're in the mill, guy's gonna come kill you and you're in someone's house kind of thing. So it was, it was cool. I've heard of it before. It's pretty good. It's, you know, it's a remake, so if you've seen any the original Black Christmas, it's like a slasher. They don't really know who done it. There's this folklore about some guy who used to live in the house, like killed his family and whatever. And now they start hearing things in the attic. Someone gets stabbed in the eye right away. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so for plotline, I don't know, what would you give it? It's a three. It's not that it's cliche, it's just a remake, so it yeah. feels cliche now. It wasn't cliche in the 70s, though. No, not at all. No, no, no. Scared the shit, a whole bunch of people. You know what was, though? Bush. So next we're gonna talk about the kills. <laughs> there's, there's an icicle to the eye. There's a candy cane in the neck. There is something in the eye in the beginning. I remember she gets a bag over her head and then- No, 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 it's, no. Uh, they put a bag over her head and then he stabs her with one of those sharp little spirally ornaments. And then ice skate, which is my favorite one, to Michelle Trachtenberg, I believe. Mm -hmm. a, a rolling, a baking rolling pin, what are they called? Oh, rolling crap, That was good. And he made cookies out of the back skin. I mean, I'd have one. I already did. Like, there's a lot of kills because they have a lot of sorority girls. I'm literally a drunken sorority girl screaming and being killed by somebody or murdering someone. I'd give it a four out of five. There's a lot of kills. They're really fun. It's really violent. Like, they, it's like fast stabbing, you know? Yeah. Like, she you wanted like, to make sure they were dead. It's like prison shiving. <laughs> God, totally. Right? Totally prison. She would know. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. DUIs. Let's talk about gore. <laughs> it was pretty gross. Just things and eyes freak me out, and look, and when you can hear the sound of the like you just yeah. pulled out kind of sound, <laughs> <laughs> the flashlight sound. Yeah. <laughs> so the gore is good. There's blood. It's like gratuitous amounts. Like mm -hmm. it's, but it's great. It's a it's a Christmas movie. And we need more horror Christmas movies. Yeah, because what looks better on snow than blood? Yeah, blood's good. I, it wasn't incredible, but it wasn't bad. I don't know four. Yeah, four. Yeah. It was good. It's it's gory. It's gory. Predictability. How did you feel about it? It's predictable in the sense that it's like a slasher, but the original was made in the 70s. You right? know the formula is a whole bunch of girls in a house, they're all gonna get picked off one by one. There's only one, t uh, there's like one little twist in the end, but it's not that big not a deal. Serious. Yeah, so it's, I'd give it, it's a five. <laughs> it's a five. <laughs> it's a five. With the twist, still a five. So moving on to the millennial meter. How distracted can you get during this movie? <laughs> if it was my first, I think it would keep me just cause, well if I'm a theater, I'm always watching, but if I was at home, I probably would have gotten up and gotten a snack real quick. So maybe I'd give it like a three. Like, oh my god! Three. Three. Out of five. Three out of five. Whoop. Overall, I I mean, I love this movie. It's got great rewatch value. Everyone likes seeing a bunch of hot sorority girls being killed and screaming in violent, gory, bloody ways. And it gives me all of this. And not to mention, it's a remake of a pretty decent original film, too. The original is good. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Check it out. It's so good. I would give it, I mean, it's nothing spectacular, though. But still, it's a classic. It's, it's the holidays. What else are you going to fucking do? So I'd give it like a, I don't know, 3.5. It's the holiday season. Let's be generous. Season of giving. It's the season of giving. You got 0.5, bitch. And taking. <laughs> Thanks for watching and Feliz Navidad. I'm Colton. And I'm Frankie Doom from Dragula Season 1. You can find me on Instagram at bro underscore landy. Don't forget the underscore. And you can actually catch me on Instagram on, on Frankie underscore Doom. You have Instagram? Oh my god, so follow us and then <laughs> click subscribe to Mannequin TV. 
see that circle right there? Subscribe to Mannequin TV. Can you see it? I can see it. You see it? I'm looking right into your circle. Ugh, fuck. Check out our review of Better Watch Out. Also, it's Christmas, so send us news. Yeah. Coming up next is Krampus. <laughs>